48, 25 yard line. Six receivers for Sakobi. Looks deep. A jetty. And it's knocked away. That's the matchup you talked about, Mike Morreale. And this time, Toreen Allen wins the battle. And it didn't have a chance to compliment Toreen Allen. I wanted to come back off the top. Just a quick go route here. Toreen Allen gives him inside let inside release, but does a good job at the end, knocking the ball away with his right hand. The Jetty wants the flag, but Toreen Allen, his third year to Etobicoke, has really shut down the Jetty. Wow. To... That's a tough throw. And a big play. Tied at 17. Sokobi going back to work. Again, that matchup. And Toreen Allen with a little jocularity. He's, uh, he knows he's, he's covering probably the, the go-to receiver right now. And anytime you're a corner, you want to call yourself a lockdown corner, you gonna you got to play and not give up too much respect. And he doesn't hear. He's right on the back of the jetty. That's a nice job. He's got to pick up and get everybody on the same page. Play action. Looking deep. Looking for a jetty. Got a step. And can't come up with the football at the 35-yard line. Again... Toreen Allen stalking the fourth-year wideout. That's what we talk all game long. Get your one-on-one -on -one matchups against the guy that you think is your playmaker. The ball is well thrown. And a jetty, oh, just outstretched. But Allen does a good job hand fighting. Had to be on the defensive side of the football. And Toreen Allen shut down corner. Yes, sir. Yeah, he did it today. He had at least three or four knockdowns that we see just was all over the receivers all game long and a well-deserved honor. Some of them so strong. No oh, Balch, high pass picked off. He's got one man to beach and that's Balch. And he can't, coming all the way back, cutting back in, avoids a shoestring tackle, still being pursued, finally been brought down by the receiver, Cowie. As you watch on the replay, overthrows the receiver and Allen makes a fantastic catch, just right, basically right in the midst. All you have to do is just get his hands on it. And you just see him break tackles going down the field. An impressive run by Sean Cowie to come all the way back and make that shoestring tackle. Oh, yeah, you got to commend Cowie on that. A lot of times the receiver will give up because they're so far across the oh, field. Geez, and he's really matching each other well. But, ladies and gentlemen, Luke Balch is officially in the game for that first down. Big play here for Mack to keep this drive going. Bantham airing it out, and right into the hands, but a nice reception by Toreen Allen. And that ball was nowhere near the intended team today. A great play on the ball, and Phantom a little guilty here of making up his mind. You see him look right and then back left, but Laurier dropping in their deep coverage, especially on second and 14. They're going to have all those guys back there. Number nine. Again, out of the shotgun, Phantom two-step back. Throws it up and it's picked up into the hands of Toreen Allen, who we talked about off the battle. Comes in around the backfield here, and it's going to lose about 15 yards on where he initially picked the ball off from, but it'll still be a turnover, and that's the second of the afternoon for the Marauders, and a big play by the veteran of Toreen Allen. That's a catchy move by McMaster Marauders, firing in Toreen Allen's territory, and you know as sooner or later he's going to pick it up. He's got the wheels, he's got the quickness. As we take a look at the replay, Ryan Phantom throws off the mark. And that pass was intended for uh, number 19, Andrew Ross, one of the many uh, good assets, good receivers for the McMaster Marauders. But Torian Allen is notorious in the defensive secondary. And elite. Second down and three. Guelph looking to respond after the big play from Lynch. Set up one way, go back the other way, and a great play by Toreen Allen, who read that and jumped in front of the intended receiver, Jaron Heyman. And this is why you always coach your receivers to, to come back to the football and help out the quarterback to prevent this from happening. But really, in this case, it's more a terrific play by, by Toreen Allen to recognize that the receiver's sitting, and he's got a, a chance to break on that football and get there. Toreen Allen, a good story, came in as a wideout at Laurier, but told the coaches, hey, whatever I can surprise the Van Horn is one this year. Dunk looking for the pump and go, not available. There you see him on the run in the scramble drill. And the ball is popped out of the hands of Lauren Foster. Toreen Allen was there to deliver the blow. The receiver continue back towards the, the football a little bit to help out his quarterback. You see Justin Dunk using his legs to buy some time. Toreen Allen has become... Nine times out of ten. Hit him in the hands. Dunk. 
Again on the move, flushed out of the pocket. Trying to turn the corner at the 25. Get out to the 30, they will mark him one yard short of the first down. At or is there a call? <laughs> Well, it looks like he's going to going to trot the punt team out there, and I think that's something being dictated by the field position. But you see what Justin Dunk can do when you have to. 29 yards, and this is making something out of nothing for Leckie, and you got to give credit to McDougal, who's got him covered. But Leckie just converts it, uses great body position, spins around, knows what. But it forces a punting situation. Taking that ball at the 38-yard line for Laurier is number five. For the Golden Hawks, of course, Tareen Green, who gets a great return here, will get the Laurier offense started here in the second half. And as we watch on the replay, Allen breaks the tackle there, and he's able to pick up some blocks downfield and follow them and picks up a few extra yards. Nick Fitzgibbon, the lone man, the backfield, pitch left, and he's got no so far, and he is able to get to Fitzgibbon early. Well, as you see here, Allen just comes up and reads this play perfectly. So Dunk, you know Dunk was going to get the ball there.